Just think about it. That, that in 1980 was about probably 35 million euro supercomputer that would fill 10,000 square feet. It's in my pocket. Everyone has a supercomputer in their pocket. How do we use having a supercomputer in our pocket connected to all the world's information to enable us to be better at what we do? Artificial intelligence can be really complicated to explain, but if you think of it in terms of machines mimicking the way humans think, it is particularly good at dealing with point cases, where there's a very defined problem that you want to solve. What they cannot do is if you got the world's best artificial intelligence chess machine to play drafts, it wouldn't know what to do. Think of it like mimicking the way we would address a problem by a machine. Think about going onto a property search and there being 20 photographs of properties there. What do you like? Oh, I like that and I like that. Then it'll show you the next 20. And in no time at all, it'll actually become very good at being able to filter you down so that's the type of property you need. So it's very clever ways of enabling people to discover information and to remove friction. Training people in technology is going to be really important and training people in being, if you like, better humans is going to be important. The only successful companies in the future will be people with lots of skills. Humans are capable of empathy. In particularly in residential real estate, a lot of the success of a good broker is empathy. It's how do I make this person comfortable with me, happy with me, engage with me. All of that stuff actually becomes more and more important in an AI world. There's a great paradox in artificial intelligence world that as the machines are gonna do more and more, actually humans are going up in value, not down in value. If you approach artificial intelligence as a job destroyer, as unfortunately quite a few people will, it's a dead end. That's not gonna get you anywhere. You need to be able to understand how to work with the machines. So it's not the machines that are gonna win, it's not the humans that are gonna win, it's humans that can work with the machines best and have the best human skills.